What's going on everybody? This is uh, Wesley Snipes here with another tutorial video uh, for you PlayStation 4 guys that don't have an idea on how to Twitch and actually how to archive your videos. Uh, so again, I'm giving you a quick quick video. It shouldn't be too long uh, and it's very easy to do. Uh, I'm going to walk you through everything. I'm even going to uh, erase what I currently have set up on my PlayStation and then just redo it so that way you guys have an idea as to uh, what you need to do uh, in order to twitch and archive on your uh, on your PlayStation so again shout out to maddenunderground.com your number one spot for Madden online gaming um, definitely one of the uh, premier uh, fast growing websites out there and if you are into uh, you know tournaments uh, you know live pro tournaments and and actually uh, you know professional CFM gaming with uh, you know with limited rules uh, then for sure you definitely want to come and check out www.maddenunderground.com uh, we currently have a, a great PS4 league uh, pro league going on right now uh, you can get yourself on a waiting list for that right now as we are currently full uh, but again you can get yourself on a waiting list for that uh, uh, for that particular league if you like to do so um, just go to www.maddenunderground.com for more info and more details on our tournaments and our leagues that we have uh, on the website. All right, but enough about that. Let's get right to it. So it's basically, you know, these are for the guys that uh, are having problems with twitching on their console uh, and twitching uh, and, and, and archiving games on their console. Uh, the, one of the primary reasons I, I put this video together is for the guys that's in our Madden Underground leagues and tournaments, for the guys that want to twitch uh, and want to make sure that they are being, I guess you can call it, treated fairly um, and make sure that they have video proof, uh, video evidence, uh, just in case, um, you know, there's an issue as far as breaking rules, not using proper playbooks, things of that sort, because those are particular rules that we have in our leagues. So with that being said, I put want to put this video together so everybody understands exactly what needs to be done uh, to make sure that everybody that needs to Twitch is Twitching. It's very simple, gentlemen. It's not difficult at all. But again, I'm going to show it to you really quick on what you need to do in order to set up your Twitch first on your PlayStation. First things first, the number one thing that you need to make sure uh, that you have for a fact is a Twitch account, okay? You definitely need to have a Twitch account. If you don't have a Twitch account, then uh, basically in a nutshell, you can't do anything. So the number one thing you have to have first is a Twitch account, without a doubt, okay? So, uh, with that being said, Let's uh let's kick it in the drive here first and get and get this started first here uh with your uh PlayStation. Okay? So first things first. This is your home page for your PlayStation. This is the latest update uh for your home page for PlayStation. I know obviously the giant stuff is my personal stuff, but this is your normal home page for your PlayStation. So basically what you do is you go up and you get all the way to your settings. Okay, once you click on your settings, you'll see all your settings right here. You'll scroll all the way down to where it says sharing and broadcast. Okay, so when you go to sharing and broadcast, you'll get all these different options right here. Video clip settings, screenshot settings, broadcast settings, audio sharing settings, and link with other services. So, like I told you a couple seconds ago, you need to have a Twitch account. So if you have your Twitch account already set up and good to go, and if you first off, if you don't have a Twitch account, make sure you go to www.twitch.tv and sign up for a free account, all right? Uh, so if you have your Twitch account and everything, you know your credentials and everything, you're all set up good to go, the first thing you'll do is go to link with other services. Once you click on link with other services, you'll go to the service that you want, Daily Motion, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. But in this case, we're going to go to Twitch because that's where most people stream. So we're going to click on Twitch. Now on my end here, I already have mine set up. But what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to log out of mine here and I'm going to reset up. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys passwords or anything like that. But I'm going to sign out. Okay, so you guys understand uh, how it works uh, once you do go in here. 
okay? So, again, so we're back on this page now. So I signed out of Twitch now, okay? So this is brand spanking new. So now when you go into link with other services, and let me go back just to double check to make sure you guys understand how to get there, okay? So basically what you're going to do again, you go to your settings, you scroll all the way down, you go to sharing and broadcast, and then you go to link with other services. Once you go to link with other services, you click on Twitch. Once you click on Twitch, it'll say, please wait for a moment. And then what will end up happening is it'll pop up on a screen for your Twitch account to sign in. Link your account to Twitch. You click sign in. And once you click sign in, you have to go to either twitch.tv slash activate or enter the code on a mobile device. You could do one of the two. Whichever one you want to do is completely up to you. Okay, so in this in this instance right here, obviously, I'm not going to show you um, anything on the home screen or anything currently right now. But what I'm going to show you, though, is uh, I'm going to go to the website. Okay, so I'm going to go to www.twitch.tv for slash activate. Okay, now let me actually pull up. Uh, let me pull up uh, my actual screen here for you so you guys get an idea on how it looks when you go onto the actual screen, okay? So let me pull up my CPU screen here for one second for you. So this is my CPU screen right here, okay? So on my CPU screen, I have it all set up here so where it says activate your device, okay? So what you're quite simply gonna do is you're gonna click on this where it says enter code, you're going to click on the enter code. And then once you click on enter code, you're going to enter the code that is on your actual setup. So when you come back and you go to your actual setup, and my apologies, give me one moment here. So when you come back, and you actually get back to your setup. You see your code sitting right there. Okay. So what you're basically going to do is go back to your CPU and you're going to enter the code. So we're going to go right here and we're going to enter the code. And let's actually go a little bit more here into uh, full screen for you so you guys get an idea and see what we're talking about here. So right here we're going to enter the code. Okay, so we'll do this here. So A42956, that's the code that I get for me to activate. You click activate, and then what happens is the second you click activate, when you get back to your PlayStation, it's now linked, and it's good to go. Okay, that is the quickest way to do it. The mobile version I tried to do before, and it's quite slow actually. In all honesty, um, some other people may have different uh, uh, different backgrounds with that, and it worked out for them. Um, it was quite slow for me, so I decided to go this route. Okay, so once you do that, you're all set to go here. Okay, so now you'll click OK. Once you click OK, you are now linked with your other servers with Twitch. So you're good to go now on your PlayStation as far as to uh as far as to stream with no problem. Very simple to stream, okay? So what you will simply do when you want to stream now, let's get to the home screen and let's just go ahead just and again this is maddenunderground.com uh sponsored. So we're just going to click on Madden. We're just going to go into Madden real quick so you guys get an idea as to you know how you stream okay EA Sports. so Madden is starting up the game has to start up before you stream okay so once the game is starting up and everything on your PlayStation uh, controller the left side of the the left side of the control the front of the controller there's a share button you will basically click that share button okay once you click that share button On my end, I actually hold it down. You can actually set it up the way you want to. Once you, uh, I hold mine down, but again, you can change that in your settings. 
uh, I can go into detail about, about that another time. But once you click the share button or hold the share button, depending upon whatever purposes that you have on your PlayStation, this will pop up. You'll simply just hit broadcast gameplay and it'll ask you which service you want. You're gonna say Twitch. You click on Twitch. Once you click on Twitch, everything is right here. All your settings are all right here, okay? Best recommendations for your, uh, when you Twitch, number one, you should be hardwired, okay? That you should be hardwired when you're Twitching because that's where you're gonna get the best, uh, the best bandwidth for your upload for your Twitch. Because remember, your console is using power to play the game and to Twitch at the same time. So the best way to go is if you can hardwire into your system when you're playing your games, do that, okay? So basically here, you can name your title, name it whatever you want. You can fix the quality. When I stream with my console, I always use 720, 60 frames per second because that gives you the smoothest frame rates that you can um, possibly get during your Twitch. For those that don't know, Twitch will... Uh, will broadcast in 60 frames per second if uh, you allow it to do so. And this is currently right now only on PS4 and if you have a, uh, a game capture device like an Elgato HD60 or something like that, okay? Um, but that's what I normally use, but a lot of people just use their console. This is an easier route for a lot of people, so that's why we're teaching this today, okay? So, but if you don't want to go that route, you can always change it. You could go to 1080p standard, which is your HD rates. You won't have a, uh, you'll go to 30 frames per second, so it won't be as smooth as it would be using 720, okay, with the high uh, 60 frames per second. All right, recommendation, I will use any one of these two right here. These I wouldn't touch on the bottom here because they're, because they're, quite, they're, they're quite crappy, to be honest, okay? So I would go with either one of these two right here, 1080p standard, or 720p high, 60 frame per second. That is my recommendation for that, all right? So you can name your title here, or up here if you have a PlayStation camera, you could, you could click it if you wanna use it. You can include your microphone if you like in your broadcast so people can hear you speak. If you don't want them to hear you speak, uncheck it. That's all you have to do, okay? If you wanna display a message to your spectators, you can do so. If you click that, then that's how it will look. Uh, as you see what it changes, the second I click it, it changes it, and that way you can actually see what everybody says on your stream. The only downside to this is that you're looking at this the whole time while you're playing your game. When I play any game, especially when it comes down to Madden, what I do is I turn this off. I don't worry about what anybody thinks because at the end of the day, I'm trying to win a game, okay? So, after you're done there, you scroll down. You can send invitations to people if, um, if you want them to check out your stream. If you, uh, if you linked your, your Twitter or your Facebook, you can actually post a link on Twitter and Facebook and then put a comment down that you want to be on the tweet or the Facebook uh, post, okay? Once you do that, you'll hit start broadcasting. And once you start broadcasting, uh, you'll, autom it'll, you'll see basically you'll be on live and on air, things like that, and you'll be good to go, okay? Now... That is very simple, very easy to do as far as streaming is concerned, okay? Very easy to do, all right? So uh, any questions on streaming, definitely you can put it in the comments. There's no problem at all. And the only other thing right now currently that I am going to show you is how to archive your streams, okay? Um, so let's go to uh, back to the CPU screen here. Back to the Twitch screen. And then basically what we're going to do here, give me one moment here while I get this set up for you. Uh, so basically what we're going to do here is this. So we're going to basically... We're going to go back to Twitch, a regular Twitch website. So twitch.tv, 
Or I could have just click return to Twitch, but obviously I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so what you'll do is you'll basically go back to the Twitch website. Once you go back to the Twitch website, what you do at that point is, and I'm going to actually pause this video once it starts streaming. Actually, no, I don't even need to pause it. Basically, what you're going to do here is you're going to go to your, your name. You're going to click down. Now, this is to archive. Remember that. And you're going to go to settings. Once you click on settings, your settings will load up right here. And this is on your PC. Remember that. Okay? You're going to click on channels and videos. Once you click on channels and videos, and again, this is in your settings, you'll just basically scroll down to where it says archive broadcast. And you want to check on automatically archive my broadcast. Okay, obviously they won't save your archives forever and you can actually change um, You can actually change it and you change your archives anytime you want But obviously to archive before you stream you must archive first So my suggestion to anybody that needs to archive make sure you go to your twitch channel on your computer or tablet or um, I'm not sure if you can do it on your phone, but do it on your computer or your tablet and then scroll and then go to settings and then you will go to channel and videos which is right here and once you click on channel and videos you will scroll down to archive broadcast and automatically archive archive my broadcast so that is how you archive all your broadcasts uh, that you uh, that you use uh, for any type of league play or uh, or any game for that matter that you want people to actually see later on Okay, um, this is uh, primarily for our particular leagues for the simple fact that, number one, we have quite a bit of issues with people at times with, you know, breaking particular rules as far as playbooks and things of that sort. Uh, so we want to make sure that you guys are covered, you guys are protected, and uh, we want to make sure that all games are archived. Okay, um, you know, so that way when you stream, it's archived, it's there, so that way commissioners can actually go in and look at the archives. All right. So basically, in a nutshell, that's about it. I bet I wanted to keep it under 20 minutes, and it looks like I've done so. So again, shout out to everybody that's tuned in, checked out the. Uh, uh, how to stream on your PlayStation 4, how to set up your stream, and how to archive on your Twitch. Um, very simple to do, very easy to do. Um, any questions at all, uh, please just, uh, you know, keep them on the comments. You can definitely use them on the comments and everything. And uh, again, shout out to MaddenUnderground.com, your number one spot uh, for competitive Madden gaming. And again, we will see you guys real soon. Be blessed, y'all.